So in this video, we are going to solve questions to prepare ourselves for the upcoming core mathematics NOVDEC paper. Now in this video, we are going to solve two questions on menstruation. This is our first question and this happens to be NOVDEC 2012 question 4. So in the diagram, PQR is a semicircle. If PQ is 16 centimeters and QR is 12 centimeters, Calculate correct to three significant figures A. The radius of the circle and B. The area of the shaded part. Let's solve this question together. So from this diagram, we have a semicircle and then we have a triangle inside of it. Now to find the radius of this circle, we know that PR is a diameter. So PR is a diameter. And the radius is half of the diameter. Now from circle theorems, we learned that the angle subtended by a diameter at the circumference of a circle is 90 degrees. The angle subtended by a diameter at the circumference of a circle is 90 degrees. Therefore, the angle between PQ and QR is 90 degrees. So if we want to find the radius, then first of all, we are going to use Pythagoras theorem to find the distance PR, which happens to be the diameter. Now, since the radius is half the diameter, we use this formula to find the radius. So from Pythagoras theorem, PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Therefore, we have PR equals the square root of PQ square plus QR square. Now we have PQ to be 16 centimeters. So we have 16 square plus QR is 12 centimeters. So 12 square. Now 16 square is 256. So we have 256 plus 12 square is 144. So when we add the two values, we have 400. And the square root of 400 is 20. Therefore, PR or the diameter is 20 centimeters. We have R equals D over 2. And then we have D to be 20 centimeters divided by 2. And that is equal to 10 centimeters. We are asked to leave our answer to three significant figures. Therefore, R is equal to 10.0 centimeters this is the radius of the circle now let's solve for b the area of the shaded part what we are going to do is we are going to find the area of the semicircle and then we subtract the area of the triangle from that and we are going to get the area of the shaded part the area of the shaded part is equal to the area of the semicircle minus the area of the triangle. So now let's find the area of the semicircle. So assuming that the area of the semicircle is denoted as AS, that is half of the area of a circle so half times pi r square so we have 1 over 2 times we are going to take pi to be 22 over 7 times the radius is 10 so 10 square 2 goes here once 2 goes here 11 times and then 11 times 10 square divided by 7 is equal to 157 
0.14 centimeter square so this is the area of the semicircle next we are going to find the area of the triangle so the area of the triangle also denoted as at is equal to half times the base times the height now we have the base to be we have the base to be qr and the height is pq so that is half times qr times pq we have qr to be 12 and then pq to be 16 two goes here once two goes here six times so six times 16 is equal to 96 centimeter square so that is the area of the triangle therefore we say that the area of the shaded part is equal to the area of the semicircle minus the area of the triangle we have the area of the semicircle to be 157.14 minus area of a triangle 96 so that is equal to 61.14 centimeter square we are asked to leave our answer to three significant figures so that is 61.1 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded part now let's solve our second question so for question two this happens to be north deck 2017 question four the diagram shows a sector of a circle center p and radius 14 centimeters if qs is a chord and the angle qps is 60 degrees calculate correct to one decimal place the area of the shaded region so we have this to be the sector that is sector pqrs and then we have a triangle qps now the distance or the length pq is the radius that is the distance from the center to any point on the circumference of the circle now we are going to find the area of the shaded region so the area of the shaded region is basically the area of the sector pqrs minus the area of the triangle okay and then we are going to get the area of the shaded region so we say that the area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the sector pq rs minus the area of the triangle qps now let's find the area of the sector pqrs so the area of the sector pqrs is equal to theta divided by 360 times pi r square now we have the angle to be 60 degrees therefore we have 60 divided by 360 times this is the area of the circle so we have we are going to take pi to be 22 over 7 times we have the radius to be 14 centimeters so 14 square if we simplify this we are going to have our answer to be 102.6667 centimeter square so basically the sector is a part of the circle and is dependent on the angle between the two radii that is pq and then ps now let's find the area of the triangle that is triangle qps so the area of triangle qps is equal to now because we don't have any of the angles to be 90 degrees we are going to use the formula half times r square sine theta so this is half times we have the radius to be 14 so 14 square 
times sine theta sine 60 degrees now this is also equal to 84.8705 centimeter square so the area of the shaded region The area of the shaded region is basically 102.6667 minus 84.8705 and we have the answer to be 17.7962 because we are asked to leave our answer to one decimal place that is equal to 17. Point 8 centimeter square so this is the area of the shaded region so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye